I'm Motoki Sato from Ibaraki University, Japan. We are developing multipolar converters for multipolar source systems. Today I'd like to talk about multipolar converter integrating automatic current balancing interleaved PWM converter and a dual active width converter with improved transformer utilization. Today's presentation's highlights are here. First, integrating an interleaved PWM converter and a double converter into a single unit. The second highlight is high transformer utilization and automatic current balancing due to the use of a flying capacitor. And finally, we performed experimental verification using a 300 watt float type. In the beginning, I'd like to share an overview of today's presentation. Firstly, I'll explain the problem of multipolar source system like this figure and introduce multipolar converter as its possible solution. Secondly, I'll propose a novel multipolar converter and describe its derivation, features, and operation. And finally, I'll talk about experimental verification using a 300 watt prototype as shown in this figure. Let me explain about the background. Recent power systems such as photovoltaic systems, electric vehicles, and fuel cell systems contain multiple power sources. For example, photovoltaic systems employ not only solar panels, but also batteries to buffer the fluctuating input power. In multipower source systems, multiple converters in proportion to the number of power sources are required to regulate each power source individually. Consequently, these systems are prone to increase the system complexity and cost. To reduce the number of converters in multiple power source systems, multiple converters, I call MPCs, in this presentation, that integrate multiple converters into a single unit have been proposed. MPCs achieve a simplified system at lower cost thanks to the reduction of converter current. I want to explain about a conventional MPC. Figure shows our conventional MPC for a PV system. First of all, it should be noted that a PV system consisting of a 48 volt solar panel and a 12 volt rechargeable battery is focused. In this presentation. This MPC is derived from integrating an interleaved PWM converter highlighted with red and a double converter highlighted with blue. The conventional MPC employs two control schemes of PWM and phase shift control to regulate each port individually. The voltage conversion ratio between VW and VPV can be regulated with the PWM control manipulating duty cycle. The load power P load, on the other hand, is regulated with phase shift control adjusting phase shift angle phi between primary and secondary size. However, conventional MPC has three major issues. The first problem is an imbalance of current flowing through two inductors due to the component tolerance or non-ideality of the microcontrollers. Therefore, conventional MPC needs current sensors and additional feedback control loops to balance inductor currents, increasing the system cost and complexity. The second issue is the increased current ripple on the battery port. The interleaved converter has the advantage of reducing the current ripple by operating an interleaving manner. However, the current ripple increases as the duty cycle moves away from 0.5. The voltage conversion ratio between PV and battery ports of the conventional is shown here. To achieve the voltage conversion of 12 to 48 volt, conventional MPC must operate with a duty cycle of 0.75. Therefore, the current ripple is increased, resulting in larger smoothing capacitor. The third issue is the low transformer utilization. The right hand figure shows the voltage waveform applied to the primary side of the transformer. Like I said before, it needs to operate D equals 0.75. However, as the duty cycle moves away from 0.5, the non zero voltage period which is the period of the voltage is applied to the transformer, will be reduced, resulting in poor transformer utilization and increased copper loss. In this presentation, we will propose an MPC that can solve all these problems. Let's take a look at proposed MPC. This is a proposed MPC. The proposed MPC is also derived from the integration of interleaved PWM converter and the W converter. Flowing capacitor CF is inserted between switches QLB and QHB. Thanks to the law of the flying capacitor, all three problems of the conventional can be solved. First, ILA and ILB can be automatically balanced thanks to the charge conservation of CF without feedback control loops nor current sensors. I will talk about this later in this presentation. Secondly, thanks to the flying capacitor, the voltage conversion ratio at the given duty cycle is doubled compared with conventional. In other words, the voltage conversion of 12 to 48 volt 
can be achieved with operation nearly d equals 0 0.5. Therefore, the current ripple of the battery force can be reduced, as shown in this figure. The right hand figure compares the transformer voltages of the conventional and the proposed, and the non zero voltage period can be extended, as shown in this figure, which can improve transformer utilization and reduce the RMS current and copper loss. Finally, all three issues can be solved according to the estimated power flows of the power source and battery. There are three operation modes in the proposed MPC, battery charging mode, hybrid mode, and battery discharging mode. If the PV power PPV exceeds the load required power P load, the operation mode corresponds to battery charging mode, and the surplus power is used for charging the battery. In hybrid mode, PPV falls below P load, and the battery starts discharging to support the input power source. There are two control targets of PPV or P bat and the P-load in battery charging and hybrid modes. On the other hand, when the input power source is not available, for example, solar panel at night, battery alone supplies the load power corresponding to battery discharging mode. Only P-load is regulated in this mode. From this slide, I'd like to explain the operation principle of interleaved converter part. I will discuss the case of D is larger than 0 0.5 in this presentation due to their time constraints. Operation modes of interleaved converter can be divided into three. In mode 1, QLB and QHA are turned on. In this mode, inductor LA discharges and the inductor current ILA charges the CF, and inductor LA and switches QLA and QHA operate as a boost converter that charges CF to the voltage level following this formula, and QHA and QLA are turned off and on. Mode 2 begins. In this mode, both inductors LA and LB are charged, and when the QLB and QHB are turned off and on respectively, mode 3 begins. In this mode, CF is discharged by the ILB. Assuming the lengths of mode 1 and mode 3 are identical, the charge conservation law for CF ensures the automatic current balancing for two inductors. In the case of the D is smaller than 0.5, the automatic current balance can be also achieved if the charging and discharging period are identical. This balancing method doesn't rely on any active control or current sensing, and therefore all inductor currents are possibly balanced, and inductor LB and switches QLB and QHB also behave as a boost converter together with CF and P, PV can be expressed as the formula. From these two equations, the voltage conversion ratio expressed like this, and the voltage conversion ratio can be doubled compared to conventional. In summary, not only an automatic current balancing, but also a high voltage conversion ratio between your battery and the PV port can be achieved in the proposed MPC. In this slide, I'd like to explain about output characteristic of the double converter part. The proposed MPC can transfer its power by phase shift control. In the proposed MPC, the duty cycle should be manipulated depending on the voltage relationship between PV and battery. Different from a general double converter that operates at a fixed duty of 0 0.5. Therefore, load power is dependent not only phi but also d, as shown in this equation. The right hand figure shows the normalized output characteristic of the double converter as a function of d and phi. It can be seen that maximum power is achieved at d equals 0 0.5 and the load power decreases as the d moves away from 0 0.5. As I mentioned in the previous slide, the proposed MPC can operate nearly d equals 0 0.5 the voltage conversion of PV and battery. Therefore, the proposed MPC is less likely to reduce the output power compared to conventional thanks to the improved transformer utilization. Let's move on to the experimental verification. We performed the experimental verification using this 300 watt port type in a battery charging mode. The experimental conditions are listed in this table. This figure shows the measured Q waveform at the full load. ILA and ILB were automatically violent, and the current ripple of the battery port was greatly reduced. This is a voltage waveform applied to the primary side of the transformer. There was no non-zero voltage period while achieving the voltage conversion of 12 to 48 volt in the interleaved converter, meaning the transformer utilization was maximized. These figures show the output characteristics of each port. The left hand figure shows the voltage conversion ratio between PV and battery port at a several phase shift angle. This characteristic revealed that PV and battery voltage could be regulated by the duty cycle and not influenced by the phase shift angle. The right hand figure is the load power as a function of phase shift angle. 
after several duty cycles. P load was regulated with the field shift angle, but was slightly bended on the duty cycle. In conclusion, all port could be regulated by the duty cycle and the phase shift angle. The measured power conversion efficiencies at varying P load and fixed P watt are shown in the left figure. The efficiency at the full load of 300 watt was as high as 94.4%. Flight graph shows the calculated loss breakdowns. The loss analysis revealed that the copper loss of the transformer winding was dominant, suggesting that the efficiency would be effectively improved by reducing the resistance of the transformer winding. In conclusion, let me summarize the main points of today's presentation. Multipolar converter can simplify multiple resource systems. We propose a novel MPC integrating interleaved PWM converter and a dual active bridge converter. In the experimental verification, the output port could be regulated by PWM and phase shift control and demonstrated that the transformer, high transformer utilization and automatic current balancing. Thank you for your attention.